floor a lot more so they can develop their passing. And you can see just behind me now, before they start playing a futsal game, they're doing a short passing session. Now, this week's been a very important week on the programme. Uh, the boys started off the week at the UK football trials and all the feedback that we got there from all the scouts and the coaches was fantastic about the way that the boys co uh, conducted themselves, the way that they turned up, how organised they were and how professional they are, which is fantastic to hear. All we're doing now is waiting to hear for any callbacks for the boys. Um, so this week they'll be looking at all the feedback that they got and what our coaches saw when they were up there at the UK Football Trials and working on that and getting out on the uh, pitch to train and working on their studies. Um, I caught up with a few more of them this week just to see how they're going and we had a little look at the training sessions. Here quickly to talk to uh, Neil, our head coach. Um, Neil, very quickly, what is it that you're, you're doing here with the boys inside? Um, we've come inside today to do a, a futsal based session. So, obviously, futsal is a quicker game, it's an adaptation of five side, which is known throughout the world. Um, and it links into the philosophy and the style of playing that we like in terms of track play the ball and pass out from the back. So, it's a good insight into the boys, aiding their passing technical ability and dealing with the ball. And has it benefited you so far? I know you've been doing it a few weeks. In match situations, can you see that it, it, it's really benefited it's, what they're doing? It's slowly starting to pay off with the boys. They're starting to understand that. And obviously, we had uh, a scout's view of the players last week, and he commented on the boys that possibly they overpassed it. But obviously, as that's been a, an area that we've highlighted in training, we, we weren't so bothered about that comment from him. But it was good to see that he was identified and noticed from other people. And watching at the start here, obviously, now, and, and and what you did right at the beginning with some of the, the testing side of things. It seems that this is very good for the fitness side of things as well. Yeah, it's it's good. We've like, to, like you said, we break up the training and um, we come inside the foot out because of the pace and the tempo of the game. Um, be five aside and the roll on roll off nature to try and maintain a level of performance which we, we hopefully can build towards in a 90 minute game of 11 side. Super, we'll let you, let you get back to it. Thank you. Yes, my roost. Yes, sir. Yes, yes mate. Uh, Michelle, yes. Um, thank you for talking to us. Uh, introduce yourself first. Um, where are you from? Michelle Bufara, uh, 17 years old from Lebanon. Um, I'm Matilda Benier. This is my second year on the program. Okay, um, now like you say, you're, you're, it's your second year on the programme, um, so you're one of our maturer students and things. Um, how's the programme going for you at the moment? Uh, it's going well. I'm, uh, I've been with the physio now because I strained my hip flexor and uh, I've been doing some specific training and massages and with the physio. It's been going well. Hopefully be back uh, by Monday and uh, I guess I'll see you. Good. Um, now, on the pitch, um, How's the football here in the UK in comparison to, to back home? It's it's a lot more physical than where it is back home. A lot more quick end to end. But uh, I guess I've accustomed to it from time. And yeah. Great. And now in the classroom, you um, you're on the BTEC program. You're coming towards the end of your BTEC program, the second yeah. year. Um, how's the BTEC education helped you out here on the pitch? Um, it's a lot sports specific and uh, since we have our coach doing our BTEC program with us it helps us understand more of what the English game wants of us and how to be able to deal with stuff we undergo during games and training. Uh, especially when we get injured or like nutrition wise, hydration wise, uh, basically the athlete's lifestyle and it's been a lot, it's been really helpful for us throughout the uh, two years. And you've been doing quite well with your BTEC out here, um, and your aim is to, to look at going on to university after this? Yeah, I've, um, I've applied to and been accepted to Manchester's University, um, and I need to achieve a certain grading criteria, which is the distinction, so it's the highest one. And uh, so far I've achieved four out of four, I guess, three out of three, 
and I'm aiming to complete the whole thing so I'll be able to enroll next year since it's a conditional offer they've offered me. And uh, I'm gonna keep my football going, like maybe try and find a team from now until then. And you know, since football, to, to become a footballer, there's no really time limit for it. So you just keep working and it's gonna happen when it should be, just, you know, give it your all, give it your best. Brilliant, now on Monday, um, you're building up to the UK football trials. Hopefully you'll be over your injury by then, that's why you've been working hard. Uh, what type of things as a, as a group and with the coaches and that um, do you work on on the lead up to the trials? Really just, you know, recapping stuff you should remember throughout the trial because it's only like two or three hours and you have to be on your pinnacle during that time, period of time. So basically, uh, communication is the most important aspect and attitude, so keep everything good. And then comes the technical and tactical understanding of the game and how you should apply yourself during the trials. And hopefully, you'll get seen or something. Good, well, all the best in the trials uh, next week. Uh, what's been your highlight on the programme um, so far while you've been here this season? Everything's, it's been a good year, you know, meeting everyone and being part of a group. Um, basically, training has been everything I've enjoyed the most. And, you know, variety of games and getting exposed to different opponents and different styles of play. You know, we've played a team that came overseas from Canada. And yeah, it's, it's really good to play, you know. Super. All the best on the programme. Thank you. Um, the weeks are counting down, uh, the weeks are ticking away, so the boys are really working hard towards that final goal, with many of them looking at going on to university, many of them looking at staying here in Manchester with us uh, for a second season. Um, so that's it all for now. If you want to join us, contact us on one of the email addresses that's on the screen now, or follow these boys that are behind me on Twitter, on Facebook, or on our YouTube channel. That's it for now folks and we'll catch up again very soon.